Hey guys, welcome to the channel, taking a bath in the bathroom is the only place where you can place your gadgets in peace. On this channel, we do product reviews and also some tutorials. One of my subscribers asked me if I still had this grill and if was it still working. It is still working. I will just kind of hot. Let me get a spatula. It's kind of beat up, guys, but as you can see, it's still working. Go ahead and lower this down, but we're not here for that. We want to talk about this electronic pressure cooker by Cookjar. So let's go ahead and unbox it. I'm super excited about this pressure cooker because it's one of those multi-function pressure cookers guys it can do so much take it out of the box you can see everything is intact get this plastic off of it look how shiny that thing is man oh I love that nice new look and you can see all of the functions it have cook rice bake cakes it can steam it can do soup it can do beef stew everything you need right here guys Go ahead and open up the lid just twist it off nice shiny inside of the top I love new products guys I love the smell I love the look all right what we have in here all right we have some type of steam rack so you have a steam rack right here what else inside and you have a steam I guess you can call it a plate or this thing this you go ahead and put like vegetables and stuff on it and you can just steam it in there you have like this little serving spoon or stirring spoon a little measuring cup so that's a nice added bonus right there okay you get your use the manual inside the pot also guys make sure you use your um use the manual not only read it but use it as you cook because i'm going to show you later on in the video I had to refer to the user manual. I had a little accident. Um, I wasn't hurt, but hey, I should have took my own advice and read the whole user manual. So keep the user manual on hand the first time you use it. And you also have the cooking pot itself. Man, this thing is nice. Look at that. They have your measurements marked on it. Um, it feels nice in the hand, nice and shiny. It's very deep. Look how steep that is, guys. So. Like I tell you guys all the time, I have six kids. Whenever we cook, it's like feeding the army. And you have your little burner in there. You have your little hot plate at the bottom. It feels very solid, man. It's nicely made. Got a little weight to it. It doesn't feel cheap. It's not light at all. It's about just right. All right, so I have my little pot washed out. I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to prepare today. Have some turkey necks, some Louisiana cooking for you guys, and some um, pig feet that's been cut in half. Actually, it's been cut several ways, in half and diagonal. All right, let's get ready for some southern cooking. Got my little Creole seasoning, garlic powder, and some water. Plug it up. All right, everything plugs up. You can see zero, zero, zero in red, zero in green. Put the turkey neck inside of that. You see how big that turkey neck is? Look at that pot, still got a lot of room. So let's go ahead and fill it up. Now, they recommend that you don't fill it up past three-fifths, or is it three-fourths? One of those. We have all the seasoning there. Just get the seasoning there. We want to make sure that everything gets seasoned. We love our season down here in the South. Just rub all of that in there. So make sure whenever you're putting in your water and you put in your food that you do not pass the recommended limit to fill the pot unless you have stuff spitting out of the pot. Got my water up in there. Get it right to that line, three-fifths I believe it is. Put my little garlic powder up in there. All right, now we're ready to go ahead and put the lid on it. Make sure that you line the lid up with the arrow, guys. Make sure everything lined up so when you lock it, you lock it well, okay? Got it lined up, now it is locked. On the top, you also have a little uh, release valve. Make sure that release valve is set to seal. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the um, meat stew and I'm gonna set it to about 40. All right, once it's set, it's gonna blank eight times and then the red zeros is gonna start moving. When you see the red zeros moving, then you know that it's cooking. All right, so now we're cooking. See right here guys, I thought it was done and I opened up the release valve and it started spitting out. But this is how it's going to look when it's done. You're going to see that B and you're going to see that little light flash and the little release valve is going to be loose like that. It's going to float. That's how you know that it's done. So don't open up the release valve or it's going to spit out like that. So it's done guys. Let's go ahead and get it plated. 
Look how tender those turkey necks are. And this was in 40 minutes. I probably could have got past with 30. Because it's a little too tender. Look how it's falling off the bone, guys. Now, it usually take about an hour, hour and a half to cook turkey neck and pig feet. But look at that. Ooh. So good. Now, to make it right, let's put that Louisiana, Louisiana hot sauce on there. Mm, 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 mm. All right, guys. Here it go. Here it go. Mmm. So good. Oh, that's good, man. Now, how you know it's good? Look at those lips. Look how shiny those lips are. Look at that smile in that guy's face. Guys, look. Something that usually takes about an hour and a half to cook. I got it in 45 minutes. And I probably could have did it in a half an hour. But look how tender that is. So, I would give this product five stars out of five, guys. So many functions. You can do so many things with it. Hey, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, don't forget the bathroom is the only place where you can place your gadgets in peace. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Peace. Don't forget to subscribe. And also hit that notification button so you can be up to date with all of my latest videos.